Hello students and welcome to Crop Science 6049. In today's lesson, we want to look at factors that affect water uptake by plants. By the end of this lesson, you must be able to discuss the factors that affect water uptake by plants. So let's take a look at the different factors that affect water uptake by plants. First, we want to look at available soil water. Plants can only absorb soil moisture that is free. If there is hygroscopic moisture, absorption is very low. I hope you still remember what hygroscopic moisture is. But as a reminder, hygroscopic moisture is found when the soil moisture is held it is below permanent wilting point. Plant roots can easily absorb the soil moisture in between field capacity and permanent wilting point. When the soil moisture decreases below the permanent wilting point, plant roots have to exert more pressure and thus the rate of absorption decreases. But on the other hand, when the soil is completely saturated with water or in excess of field capacity, then the soil temperature and aeration are poor. These conditions also affect the absorption of water. Next, we want to look at the aeration of the soil. Absorption is mainly faster in well aerated soil than badly aerated ones. Aeration affects the process of aerobic metabolism of the roots. Poor aeration is mainly due to excess soil moisture or compaction. However, roots of species such as hydrophytes can still absorb water even in an anaerobic condition. Next, let's take a look at soil temperature. Soil temperature is known to influence water absorption and ultimately transpiration to a considerable extent. In many plants, normal absorption of water takes place at temperature that is between 20 to 35 degrees Celsius. And increasing or decreasing soil temperature will inhibit absorption. A cold soil is a physiologically dry soil. Why? Because most of the processes that occur within a plant are driven by enzymes. And enzymes are temperature sensitive. And most of these enzymes don't operate very well at very low temperatures or in cold temperatures. In most instances, temperature above 40 degrees Celsius does not support water absorption. And the plant can show signs of wilting. A freezing or low temperature slows down the rate of water absorption because of the following reasons. The first reason is decreased root elongation. The second reason is increased viscosity of water. The viscosity of water increases as water approaches freezing point because it will be approaching solid form. The next reason is decreased permeability of the cell membrane. And the last reason is increased the resistance of water movement into the roots. And this is because of decreased permeability of cell membranes and increased viscosity. The next factor is the concentration of the soil solution. The rate of water absorption is inversely proportional to the concentration of minerals present in the soil. When concentration of minerals is high, the rate of water absorption is low and vice versa. Water absorption only takes place in appropriate soil solution. So, a soil should be hypotonic and plants must be hypertonic to carry out the process of endomosis. If the concentration of the soil minerals is high, it decreases the rate of absorption and the plasmolysis and wilting takes place. Next, let's take a look at the root system and how it affects uptake of water by plant. The root system of a plant is directly related to the absorption of water from the soil. Under favorable soil water, potential soil temperature, aeration, the root system of plants strongly influence the uptake of water. When the growth of roots is more, uptake of water is also more under favorable soil conditions. A good root system 
that is developed during favorable growing periods make a plant draw its moisture supply from deeper soil layers. Plants vary genetically in their rooting characteristics. Vegetable crops such as onions have an adventitious rooting system and are unable to use all the soil water within the root zone. However, forage grasses such as sorghum, maize and such other crops have fibrous dense roots. The last factor that we want to look at is the rate of transpiration. The rate of water absorption is directly proportional to the rate of transpiration. The rate of water absorption increases due to increase in the rate of transpiration. The rate of water absorption increases due to increase in the transpiration because passive water absorption increases due to transpiration. Transpiration produces transpiration pool in the xylem vessel. It pulls water upwards, thus negative pressure is produced in the xylem of the leaf, and this draws water from the soil. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, additions and subtractions, please write them in the comment section. If you have benefited from this lesson, click the like button.